There is an exit from the linguistic labyrinth which is freely available to us. When we accept that we have created cultural forms and understand that they only have meaning we give them, we will be able to return to the deeper connections with the larger universe. Logocentrism is a paradigm of cultural imbalance, but is not a fatal cultural malfunction. This is a level of reality where illusions of stability are promoted by culture. This marketplace and the everyday actions that comprise it are inadequate to support human happiness. My characters, these seekers, act on faith by rejecting the illusion of control provided by language and cultural forms. They cannot be as rewarding as the warm and omnipresent truth of what lurks underneath. I do not aim for anarchy, merely balance. Balance between the energy of the subconscious and the logic of the linguistic. It is a subconscious bridge to the fundamentals of existence. The logic of narrative can constrict expression within hollow conventions, becoming a stalwart barrier to the subconscious. Life terrifies us so much. We endlessly repeat stories that falsely reassure us that what is social is also real. But narrative is simply the expression of human will. Perhaps the hopes of our expressions should be to uncover the will will. Some people may only find formlessness in these films, but by removing them from a rational order, I think we better approximate our true unbiased perceptions. Galvanizing these subconscious energies help prevent the solipsism that occurs during the mechanistic recycling of conventions. Narrative is more than conflicts to be resolved by willpower. Their true victory is in dissolving their will into narrative flow. The fear of these moments does not compare to their felicity. There is no reason to believe that beyond the culturally imposed will lies only chaos. I hope to expose the seams in narrative to change the audience's identification with it. Plot is revealed to be a string of uncanny experiences created by the roles that these characters, these seekers, are forced to play in order to sustain a hollow story. In the naked, beautiful light, narrative structure is shown as the tension between invisible urges and highly visible rigidly set cultural identities and parameters. Subconscious resources are inordinately constrained by circumstances. Within those confines, the logic of culture, with its alluring technology and politics of power, tyrannizes our conscious and rewards interacting with the universe through will alone. The characters from my subconscious worlds grow impatient with the constraints of these cultural forms. Half stare. The. Fianna. No. Three. Gums. Ah. Yes. We must dare to cross the border between culture's micro order and the macro order of the larger. 
painful limitations are the affliction spawned by cultural meanings that are left behind in the search for more cosmic dwellings for our hearts. There is an existential orderness that is always stable. There is an animate intelligence beyond the ordinary space of confusion. The race is laughing her species of the earth.